Hi, I'm Aubrey from Palette Club. I'm a sommelier and today we wanted to talk about a pretty confusing subject and that's about ordering wine online. There's hundreds of labels and we want to make sure that you don't get screwed in the process of trying to order your wine. Yes, so there are numerous ways, uh, numerous companies where you can buy from. So the, the most obvious ones are just the ones that, uh, from the local wine stores, which now have systems uh, to bring the wine directly to you in the next two hours, etc. That's actually the worst way to order wine because you get exactly those price points and those type of bottles which have the highest margins for the wholesaler and for the entire like middleman and you have a very limited type of uh, wines there so basically that is where there's going to be the least amount of money for uh, what's in the bottle the next thing to watch out for is fake wineries so of course it's great to support a local winery um, that can ship directly to you, but oftentimes there are companies that make it seem as if they have lots of international wines, but actually they're operating out of one large parent company and they make all the wine in-house. And so one, you're not getting a lot of diversity because it's going to be a very limited hand. Also, they're importing bulk juice. And so if they're operating from the parent winery, that means they brought in the wine from France or wherever, and it's not going to be the optimal way to preserve the freshness and the beauty of the grape. Well, we see a lot of them like uh, buying for 50 cent uh, a, a, a bottle worth of wine, they're slapping their label on, so you can't compare the prices and then they ship that bottle for like $15 to you. So you can guess the value you have for, of that product. It's, yeah, it's for the label, it's for the marketing. Uh, just make sure you do your research. If there's not a story behind the wine, then it is questionable. So as opposed to that, there's, then there is buying from a real winery. Uh, so you have plenty of wineries in Napa, Sonoma, in Washington State, Oregon, everywhere in the US have their own wine club and their own like uh, uh, websites. Some of them unfortunately are much harder to get. So you have some very good deals there sometimes with the club. The only thing is it's usually always the same wine. So at some point it's you don't have the diversity. It's not necessarily the wine you will prefer, which matches your personal taste. Uh, but in any case, it's not necessarily a bad way to order wine online. Uh, the last way that you can order wine online is with a, an online retailer. Um, this is very common and it will often have a lot of different options. The trickiest part is just navigating which wines are best suited for your taste when there's a big portfolio. So um, oftentimes you're able to get in touch with their team, especially if there's a sommelier or someone you can talk to to help navigate the selection. Or of course, I can't help but say, you know, working with the company that helps to uh, send you wines that match your taste. So I think this is the right time to uh, tell a bit the truth about shipping costs, right? So shipping wine in the US is very expensive. When a company, whether it's an uh, online retailer, online uh, wine club, fake winery or whatever, include shipping pro costs in their prices, that means that you know in some way you're paying those $5 per bottle. And the other um, advice here is really to go for larger quantities because, when, again, when to, once you order a case, your shipping cost is going to go really, really down compared to if you order four bottles. Great. Thanks for listening. Uh, please uh, let us know what your thoughts are and feel free to reach out if you want to hear any more advice about ordering wine online. Thank you. Thank you.